Hello guys, in this video you will see how to create bar chart, so let's get started. In front of us we can see our data source. Basically it is data stored in Google Sheets and we will use this as the data source. So let's switch to Google Looker Studio and now we need to create new report. We are gonna click on this button here, blank report, also we, we could use this create button here. So now we need to choose our data source, in this case we will be using Google Sheets, so let's click on Google Sheets and uh, this is our data source, it's called data source slash test, this name here. So. Uh, we are gonna be using sheet 1 and also we are gonna use first row as headers and include hidden and, and filtered cells. So let's click add. And then add to report. And now we will have our data imported in Google Looker Studio. And now we need to create pie chart for this report and, and we can go and click on this option add a chart. There is a lot of charts that we could choose, for example geo chart, area, scatter plot, bar charts and so on, but we will use pie chart this time. So let's click on pie and let's place it here. Now we don't have any data that we could use for visualization so we will choose our columns. Basically we need to provide two values, one for dimension and one for matrix. For dimension we will be using let's say region and we will present data for each region and as you can see we, we have four regions and now we would like to see let's see total sales for each region. So we're gonna place sales column in this metric box here. So we will use sum, we, we could also use average count and so on, but this time we need sum for, for total sales per, per region. So let's see, now we can see total sales and percentage in total. So for example in this case it's 31%, 29 and so on. Next step will be to modify this, this pie chart to look let's say better, so I'm gonna click on this style here and I can choose maximum number of slices that, that I would like to see but in this case we have only 4 but let's say we can we could use 10 and 15 and so on but it's not important in this, ca in this case o also we could choose colors in this case it will be the same color also we could choose slice order and to, we can change those colors for example instead of this blue I'm gonna let's say put black and instead of this one I'm gonna put red one of course it's not nice in this case but this is just for demonstration now this part here actually we can we can create donut chart instead of this one if we, if we, if we resize this this hole so let's just put it like like this and we will have a donut chart in this case we could also change labels um, font colors and so on but I will, I will uh, leave that to you to, to, to try to do it on your own. We could also change the background and border and I'm gonna use this one it's it's more darker we could also uh, choose this this option to have those let's say uh, smoother uh, edges let's go back to style and then then I, I think yes I think it's it's enough for this for this video uh, we could also add a filter to this chart to to see only only the certain for example states let's let's see for country or yes country I will choose equal to United States and if I filter this I will have probably different numbers because we filtered only by United States. So basically this was everything for this video, thanks for watching.